Okay, so how are you? It's been long and I was, I was quite busy. As I promised you before, I'll be updating you on the new software and indicators to trade on your boom and crash markets. Okay, so this one, this one is a combination of two indicators, very efficient ones, okay. Whenever this is the boom 1000 market, one minute time frame, and as you can see, there's an indicator for showing you when you should sell, and then just consider on the selling only because don't rely on the one that's blue. The blue one shows you when you should buy, but it's not trustworthy because sometimes it happens. A spike happens and then it, the blue one pops up, which is not advisable. Okay, so today we will be, we'll be focusing on the red one only. The red one, whenever it it occurs, whenever it pops up, you sell and you take three, two to three candles. Okay, and then you close the trade. As you can see here. And then there's this one. This one shows the volume of the market at a specific time. Okay. Now, whenever the market is overbought, whenever the market is overbought, you don't enter the market when the market the volume is very low. Like if you can see where I'm pointing at right now, this is a very low volume. Although there was a red mark here, but don't trust it because sometimes the red mark can just pop up and then the market spikes again okay let me show you like here the red mark popped up but then it went and the market spiked and spiked so if you are going long if you're holding a trade you'll most definitely be liquidated and go on a loss okay so this is what I always advise people who are coming for these indicators what you should consider just consider when the market is overbought like this one shows you the volume so this was this was the best time to get into this trade okay let's zoom in so here the red mark for selling came up you go into your trade and then you hold for three candlesticks and then you close the trade you wait again it becomes overbought the volume goes up and then you hold the red mark comes pops up again that's a clear indication that you should sell you hold for three candlesticks and then you close the trade you wait again don't don't enter the market at this point wait for this point and then it pops up again and then you take your three candlesticks that is your cell and then you close your trade that's it and you repeat this process more than 10 times a day okay so there are there are some indicators that have developed that shows you when the market will be repenting. Repenting is when it's, it's down here and you don't know how long it's going to maintain at this oversell, oversold level, okay? You don't know. Sometimes it goes on for 30 minutes, sometimes it goes on for one hour, then sometimes 20. So there are some indicators that show you they always pop up, okay? that one will, i'll be showing you in the next video they'll pop up here and show you this market is going to be repenting for quite some time so you go in again and sell okay and then you hold for three candlesticks and move out never ever hold for long this is a boom boom market whenever a spike happens it can get you off guard and it will it will put you at a loss so 
this one here if this one if i add that indicator right now it will show you this one was repenting so it most likely it's going to pop up at this point here here okay so this indicator is it's for demo for demo accounts for those who want to buy it i always first send the demo account for newbies they check it out they try it on their demo accounts and then they move into their real accounts although it's for demo account using another indicator combined with it it can be used for real account as you can see here i am using it on a real account there is server 02 so let's go to a higher time frame always remember on the boom and crash market the higher time frame always gives you a good overview of where the market is going so i like using these things on the five minute time frame and the 15 minute time frame that's the best thing mostly the 15 minutes so let's go to the five minute time frame now 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 let's check this out let's zoom in so on the five minute time frame every candlestick is equivalent to a five minute time frame okay so whenever it's here this is the overbought level you come it pops up the red the red indicator what you have to do you have to sell okay just sell it for three minutes only three minutes don't go past it, that three or two or three minutes after that you close the trade then it comes here it pops up again you do the same and you close the trade and then leave it now because it will be going down 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 this is five minutes okay if you hold it for long let's take let's take this point here if you held it for long the market would have spiked okay after spiking it would take you on a loss that's it so in this market don't be greedy don't be greedy so that you want to hold the candles you want to hold your trade for long now you're going to be fucked up and then we move on to the next one mm. let's go to the 15 minute okay now you can see here the 15 minute this way this is where all the magic happens okay see it became over it became of us overbought so every candlestick here it's equivalent to 15 minutes okay so this one it, it popped up here showing you that the you should sell you hold it for a sell don't hold it for long just hold it for if it's a 15 minute hold it for five minutes and get out of the trade okay so this indicator is up for sale those who want it there's another one you combine with it and it show you accurate trades and that's it next one i'll be dropping a full video on the next indicators and then i'll be dropping a full video tutorial for scribe training okay so no need to like no need to telling be telling me i train you i just drop it you use it to educate yourself step by step from the review from the transcription part up to the last part of the review okay and then proofreading that's just let me say just more reviews combined together so that's it for today